Hello and welcome. My name's Chuck. I'm Old Man Tarot. I do daily tarot readings for our 55 and older crowd out there. Every day we ask the cards, what are our opportunities for today? Uh, we're doing a reading today for Saturday, November 13th, 2021. So we're asking, what are our opportunities for Saturday, November 13th, 2021? If you do like what you see here, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our daily readings. All right, let's see what the cards have to say for Saturday. First card is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a card of giving or receiving. Uh, we're not sure exactly who we are in this. I usually assume that we're the one that's giving. Uh, we're doing well. Uh, we have lots of money. Our business, our life is going well. Uh, we recognize the fact that some people are not doing as well. Some people need help. Um, you see the, the scales here. We're deciding who needs help. Uh, so we're using our intuition and our decision-making process, deciding who's going to get the money. Um, she's, it looks like she needs it. Uh, she has a little baby here. It's raining outside. I'm sure she needs some money for food and shelter and clothing. Um, this card reminds us it's good to give. Please give. Sometimes you need to ask. Uh, but if you have the opportunity, please give and please use your decision-making process to give wisely. All right, next card for Saturday is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups indicates we're, you know, we're still thinking about something that happened in the past. Uh, we're still upset about something that happened in the past. These cups are broken. Uh, there was some emotional, um, the cups are your emotions. There was an emotional, uh, you know, something that hurt you emotionally that happened in the past. He's looking backwards towards the past. If you look back there, all you see is broken cups and rain and you know, clouds, rainstorm. Uh, but if he would turn around and look the other way, look towards the future, he has full cups here. The future's bright. Um, sometimes you just have to let go of the past. It's hard to do. I know. I've been trying to do it myself. Um, but if you look to the future, the future's bright. Your cups are full. Your emotions are full. There is no storm clouds in the future. All you have to do is turn around, look at it, walk through this door into a bright future. Saturday, Six of Rods, you're triumphing. Yay! This is a great card. You're, you're thrilled. This is a hard-earned victory that you've had. You've been working for something for a long time. Uh, everyone knows you've been working at something for a long time, and everyone's very happy for you. They're cheering for you. You're celebrating. Um, you could use a few more clothes on, but other than that, it looks like you're having a good time. Uh, you're celebrating halfway through the day uh, over a heart fought victory. Maybe what you've done here is to quit looking at the past. Maybe you've finally taken a step saying, I know the past is gone. I can't do anything to change it. If I look to the future, uh, immediately, if you look to the future, you have a, a victory and people are, are thrilled with what you're doing. The fifth card is the Ten of Rods. Ten of Rods indicates you might be taking on too much for today, uh, too much activity. Uh, this is making you feel like you're kind of trapped in the corner here and you need a break. So Saturday, don't take too, like, don't take too on too much stuff, especially late in the day. Uh, maybe after this celebration, people want you to do some stuff. They want you to do more things. They want you to go out and do some more celebrating. This may make you feel tired and, you know, like cowering in the corner. So this is a reminder, just don't take on too many things um, on the later on Saturday. And the, uh, the last card on Saturday is the Knight of Rods. The Knight likes to take action. You can see he's running. He's running. Looks like he's running towards the past. Looks like he's also telling you don't take on too much stuff. He's trying to defend you. He doesn't want you to take on too many things either. Uh, so he's, he's telling you don't take on too much stuff. Don't take on too much stuff. The night defends your uh, your rods, your actions, um, and your passions. So Saturday overall looks like a real good day. You start off today in a giving mood. You're in a position to give and help other people. That's always a fine thing. Uh, at some point uh, midday, uh, you're going to feel, uh, you know, regrets for the past or thinking about something in the past. It's time to let that go. Uh, this card tells you it's time to let that go and look to the future. Uh, the, as soon as you let this go, um, you, you can't always, you can't let it go forever, but you can let some of this go. Understand that the future is yours for the making. The cups are full. You love. There's plenty of love. There's plenty of bright, bright skies and celebrations here in the future, but you have to let go of the, some of the things that happened in the past. Uh, later in the day, don't take on too many things. 
um, you know, have action, take action on some of these things. Maybe you can get rid of some of these things, but don't agree to do too much and don't overburden yourself. That just makes you tired and doesn't make you do a real good job. Let the night defend you. Let be able to say, no, I can't do some of this stuff. Uh, maybe we could put it off to Sunday or the next weekend. That's it. Saturday looks great. Let go of these old <laughs> demons. Let them go. Move to the future. If you let them go and move to the future, you're going to feel great about yourself. Thank you. My name's Chuck. I'm Old Man Teru.